Okay, the duckies are up and going, and I got all their waters changed. I smashed up a can of peas for them, which I'm doing every day. I should have started earlier, but, you know. I caught that little detail after the fact. I've had ducks for a short period of time before, but never, never raised them from a chick. So, learning experience. Yeah, I do know everything always stays wet. <laughs> Huh. So I got their bed cleaned out. Everything's cleaned out. Water's changed. Niacin is in the waterer. Uh, they have enough feed for now. I bring them a little extra in a little bit. Um, and like I said, I swapped these out. So I took this one out this morning. And I got the, most of the straw bagged up. So what I'll do is finish cleaning that out. Hosing it off. Letting it dry. And we'll swap them tomorrow. We'll just keep repeating every day. That's the only thing I know to do right now. Because they poo-poo a lot. I don't want them to just lay down on that turf. I mean, I, mean, I guess they could, but that'd be a lot of poo-poo hosing off. At least, at least this way, it's contained. A lot of it is contained in the straw, and I can throw it away. So, we'll let the yard dry out a little bit. And then I'll probably take the mower in here and take it down just a little bit more. Now that I got the um, edges all cleaned up. And then I have to finish the rest of the yard as, all, as well. But my battery died. <laughs> you doing, Frank? Well, baby. So now I got to go to Pooper Scoop and take care of the chickens. The chicks in the house have been taken care of. Everybody's panning out early morning. It's nice. Nice out. And my teenagers again. <laughs> so pretty. I know. Y'all can't sit with the big girls yet. but And that's their favorite place to sit. When I had that perch out there. This one right there. The Americana. Flew up on top. <laughs> I got down and... Got that, got that stick there and got her down before she flew out in the yard. So that's why I brought this in. I probably got to pull it out just a little bit more, but they seem to be fine on there. Huh. Probably relaxing. Okay, everything looks pretty good out here. I got to change some waterers. And I think some of the girls, I got some treats though down here. I got to fix my feeder. And I got feathers in there, but no eggs. And see how they kick everything out. So I just got to clean this up. I know. And I left their fan on last night. So they should have enjoyed their sleep a little bit more. It was actually really hot last night. And got my fake plant set up. And I must have to pooper scoop. Get that done, which is a daily thing. Sometimes I might skip a day. Got to get my thing out of here. I got to get some more shavings. Because they like to kick everything out of the box, don't you? Don't you? I see you in there. What baby girl? That's the one that follows me everywhere. Huh. I know, I know what you want. You ain't getting it. <laughs> she wants me to give her, throw her a broken egg out there. Yeah, they will not touch the eggs in the boxes. They'll only, if I throw, if I take one out of the box, I have, you know, I break it and throw it out in the yard. And that's the only time they touch an egg. <laughs> but that's what she wants. And I don't have any right now. Usually I just take the ones that are too small to to hatch. Oh, we got one in here too. See the egg. Is that yours or are you trying to lay one? That's not your egg. You better lay an egg. What? No. Maybe later. Maybe later.
effects are panning out. And my black Jersey Giants, I just cleaned it bed up this morning. They'll be going out to the Chicksville shed soon. Yeah, you will. Be in here a little bit longer. I mean, you can tell they're bigger than the regular chicks already. Aren't you? They're starting to climb on stuff, so I got the lid on them. So I'll probably take them out there um, before they start figuring out other ways to get out of here. <laughs> and these are all pullets. And again, I'll keep one and sell three of them. Two of them go to my girlfriend. I'm just going to grow them out for her. So she'll either want them then or not. It doesn't matter either way. Yep, I done been out, cleaned up after the ducks, the chickens. Okay, I didn't pooper scoop yet because I had to have my second cup of coffee first. <laughs> they're, they're not getting a little perch over there, huh? I was going to take that heat plate out of here. It's not even on. It's warm in this bedroom. And now for the little chickies that I sell, I do keep the heat plate on for them. And this was a small batch, and it didn't do very good. But we have some in there. And it was a small batch, but I think that just because the girls are, the heat that's through the daytime, I think they're molting. But I have a bigger batch that's hatching now to go with these. So I got them all cleaned up this morning. I see ya. I see ya. And then one was sleeping in the food dish. <laughs> I see ya. And again, on these, I keep the front higher than the back for the different sizes. <laughs> I see you. You can come up front some more and have more room. There's a couple really small ones in there, so I left the back down just a bit. Okay. I have to raise that up just one notch. And this is the bigger batch that's hatching. And one thing about these is sometimes, like, if your moisture gets too high, you can't open this. What I do, nor the junk I got to clean this, I put a fan on low and point it towards this with these off once they start hatching because the moisture inside the eggs once they start hatching increases the moisture without you putting any water or anything in it so what I do is just do that and I just really keep a close eye on the on it I mean the moisture is still up a bit but it's starting to come down I see you I see you So once these ones are done, and then I've got, I've got these will be another, another week. And same thing for these. And I did find somebody that wanted to buy my Buff Orpingtons. And again, these are my goose eggs, or neighbors. So, and then I'm getting eggs collected for the next go round. I have more in the kitchen to put in here, because I leave this plugged in, and it um, tilts the eggs for me while they're waiting to go into the incubator, which helps to protect the um, air pocket <laughs> at the top of the egg without me having to manually turn them on the table on something, you know, so that they tilt and then I turn it the other way. But I only have one in use at a time when I've got all these going on. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do this time is try to keep all the Rhode Island Red batches started at the exact same time instead of having them like a week apart. So that's my goal. We'll see how that works out. <laughs>